Hey Yosemite Church, what's up? I am so happy to be here with you guys today as we continue to dive in to our monthly focus, which is we value the investment work of discipleship. My name is Dave, and I'm one of the teaching team members here at Yosemite Church. You know, one of the things I was thinking about before we dive into this is that the great opportunity here at Yosemite Church that we give all our members and all those that are even outside the opportunity to grow in discipleship. And now those ways are actually one of the ways right now is that we're getting ready to kick off the Chosen series, right? That's a great way to grow in a group. And so I encourage you to get involved in a group, a men's group, a women's group, a co-ed group, kids group, just the plethora of groups that we have going on here at the church. That gives you and I every opportunity to grow, to invest, in the work of discipleship, not only in our lives, but also in the lives of others. So today, let's dive right in to Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. And what it says in that verse, it says this, Go therefore, make disciples to all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. See, I know that Sonia had talked a couple weeks ago. She had given the definition of what it means to be a disciple. And what it means to be a disciple is to just be a learner of Jesus Christ. We are all called to be disciples of Jesus Christ. We are all called to be what? Learners of who Jesus is. To learn of him and also to, to mature in him. And so how do we do that? Well, it's just like I said a minute ago, it's by us. How we mature is by us opening our Bibles, by us joining a small group, by us being involved in what's taking place around us and being involved in diving into God's Word. You know, one of the things that I was thinking about is that it doesn't end. This investment work of discipleship, it does not end when we say the sinner's prayer or when we get baptized, right? It doesn't end when we ask Jesus into our heart and ask Him to save our lives, right? It doesn't end when we get baptized in the water, when we're, the old man is put down and then this new man arises. No, it doesn't end there. That is just the beginning of this investment work to discipleship. We are all called, commanded in the Great Commission in Matthew chapter 28, to go and make disciples of all the nations. You know, we see here that we are disciple to disciple everyone, not just the lost, but those saved to be grounded in God's word. See, discipleship isn't just for the lost. It's not about this um, evangelistic spirit that comes on us that we want to reach the lost. Yes, that is our goal. Yes, it is our goal to reach the lost, to disciple those that are lost. But discipleship and being discipled is also for the saved. It's a key component to us growing in our faith and in growing in the grace of who Jesus Christ is. Knowing who He was, knowing what He can do for us, knowing how to share that with others so that they can come to know who Jesus Christ is. So now the investment work that we put into ourselves now becomes an investment work that we put into others. And then those, they invest in somebody else. Then they invest in someone else. And then you can see the profit in how we become disciples of Jesus Christ. You know, one of the things I read and that I liked, it says, Only a believer who is learning of Christ and growing in grace can truly be called a disciple of Christ. But not all believers are disciples and not all believers are learners of Christ. Let us all become true disciples of Christ as we learn more and more of Him. See, that's a great thing, is that here at the church at YC, we have every opportunity to learn about who Jesus Christ is. We have every opportunity to disciple and grow in discipleship, to invest in our discipleship here at the church by growing with each other in, in a small group, in a large group. But today, I just want to encourage you 
to continue to invest in your work towards discipleship and discipling others. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, that you give us the opportunity to grow in our faith and to learn about more in who you are, Father. I pray today that you would continue to help us to grow, to understand, to witness to others, God, about your greatness and your wonderfulness, God. We thank you so much for this day. Help us to be great disciples for you. Helping those with your help and the Holy Spirit's help to just talk about who you are and share about our faith and what you've done for us here today. We thank you and love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hey YC, you guys have a blessed day.